All right, you guys, welcome back to Four Wheel Fun Bros. And today we're doing another valuable lessons with Vitali. And today it's episode number two. Summer is right around the corner. And what do you want working when you're inside your car, driving around, doing errands, going to work, going back from work on a hot, sunny day? You obviously want your AC system working smoothly. You want it to be blowing cold air. So today I'll be showing you guys how to do a simple, quick, performance AC test. All right, so step number one. In the step, the test prefers that you have a fan in front of your vehicle, which simulates air flowing through as if you're driving. In my perspective, at least don't do this test inside a garage or enclosed area and try to perform a test outside. So as you can see, my car is standing all day like this in the sun. It's super hot and plus it's a black car. So what I'm gonna do, simply get it up on the driveway right there there's nice shade and it's outside and run the test. All right, so the only tool we'll need for this AC performance test is a thermometer. You could use two different styles and cooking thermometer, which I bought and have and use. Simply take it out of the pouch, stick it into the vent and see what is blowing out. Or you could use a fancy infrared thermometer, which pretty much just shoots a beam and wherever the dot lands, it's going to tell you what the temperature is. So if you want to be all fancy, by all means, that's your choice. But if you're going with this style, I suggest the only thing is some cheaper ones. Don't go this low. As you can see, this one goes down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. The cheaper ones will start maybe around 60 or 80. That's not gonna work for this AC test. So if you could find one with around 30 degrees Fahrenheit, you should be okay to perform this test. All right, so part of step number one is also you gotta have your vehicle already running, so it's running. And now to engage into step number two. I'm not engaging and whatnot, that's better. <laughs> you close all your windows. So once your windows are closed, you want to turn on and go ahead and get the AC nice and cold. Hopefully it's cold. You set your blower speed motor to not full blast. In my setting, it's going to be one, two, three, four. So I need it on setting number three, about 75 to 85% blower motor speed. Once you have that, you just want to select face only mode, come in from these vents only. The air recirculation button on, AC button on obviously and hold the setting. All right, so once you got your blower motor, your AC settings and thermometer installed, you go back to your cluster, and this is step number three. You wanna raise your RPMs from 1,200 to 2,000 and keep it in between that line. So we're gonna rev this puppy up a little. Once you rev it up, you just hold it there for about three to five minutes and watch your thermometer see the needle at the drop. So this can get boring if you're doing this for about five minutes or so and having your foot steady but it helps out a lot if you have a picture of your soulmate like so and you kind of just zone out and stare into your eyes and then you're like whoa five minutes whoa, whoa 20 minutes already passed whoa i should check my thermometer so I'm going back to my thermometer and we're at 55 degrees so this vehicle or AC systems should actually be between 38 degrees Fahrenheit and 48 degrees Fahrenheit. In my case, again, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, it's about 55 degrees. All right, so it's been about five minutes. We're gonna check our thermometer. Zoom in right there and see, he's blowing about 39 degrees Fahrenheit out of the vents, which is pretty freezing. Even though the settings say 60, it's definitely out of the vent. It's coming out very cold. So, perfect example. This is a system that's within spec, about 39, 38 degrees, compared to my car, which is blowing 60 degrees, which is out of spec. All right, you guys. So there you have it. That's the steps to perform your AC performance test. You could easily do this at home and find out if your AC is within spec. So the car to the right, my 98 240SX, the AC vent temperature was 60 degrees and it wouldn't drop below it. My brother's car on the other hand was blowing 38 degrees Fahrenheit 
which is within spec of 38 degrees Fahrenheit to 48 degrees Fahrenheit based on the AC performance test. All right, so being a technician for a couple of years, and I'm sure the other technicians out there know for themselves as well, if a car comes in with the AC concern, something stating that it's not blowing cold, you go ahead and do the performance test and find out what's actually going on. So the car to the left is a perfect example of if it ain't broken, don't fix it because it's perfectly fine. You could go ahead on a test drive and see maybe there's a intermittent concern where it stops blowing or something, but that's different. And the car to the right, my 98 240SX, if a car comes in, you know that, hey, you did that performance test and hey, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is out of spec, and you go ahead and continue your diagnosis and see what's wrong further on the line. All right, you guys, so for with fun bros, thanks for watching Valuable Lessons with Vitaly, episode two. We're gonna have episode three, four coming shortly. It's summertime, so the next ones coming up are also gonna be about AC systems and diagnosing them. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, we out. And I'm saying we because, hey, <laughs> anti the lion.